Hey everyone, Dash Attack here. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. So, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. It's a great movie. It actually felt like it had added closure to some characters we've known for almost 10 years. And, you know, it was a great send-off. You know, I, I love that my boy Rocket was like the heart and soul of this movie, even if he was in a coma for most of it. It was great to see. Yet, for, for some reason, you would think uh, this would be Marvel's big, like, biggest movie this year. Like, you know, it's the final chapter of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Believe it or not, it's actually underperforming. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 actually had a stronger opening than this. Now, a lot of people are blaming the brand damage that Disney has done with a lot of their, like, political grandstanding and a lot of their woke messaging shit that they do with their movies nowadays. But honestly, when I saw this movie, there really wasn't any of that. It was a phenomenal movie, and it felt like it belonged in either Phase 1 or Phase 2. Maybe more fit Phase 2 than Phase 1. Yeah, it definitely felt like a Phase 2 Marvel movie in a very good way, though. Literally every character in this movie undergoes, like, personal problems that they've been uh, dealing with, whether it's um, Gamora being from a different timeline, uh, Chris Pratt trying to get over his love of Gamora, you know, because the one he loved is dead. Uh... Rocket reconfronting his maker and dealing with some a painful past. All of that was really good. And it had some really kick-ass action sequences. With that said, there are some pretty dark moments in this movie that like really do shift the tone from the normal Guardian's goofiness to like very somber and serious. But in the end, like Everyone prevails. It's a pretty, really fun movie. <laughs> to me, a movie like this deserves to be a success because of the love they put into the characters and the story. I think quality work should be rewarded, but there are people that aren't going to reward Disney even if they put quality product now because they've agitated the market so much and ruined their brand. Nobody trusts them anymore. It's actually quite phenomenal. So this was, this movie was the real litmus test if Disney could withstand brand damage. And it looks like it has, because the Guardians brand is like one of the strongest in the Marvel uh, lineup. I do, I do love the film. I love how it ends. I, I love what they did with the characters. I I love Rocket even more as a character, which is kind of hard to believe because I was already a big fan of him. Yeah, Bradley Cooper does a great job. Oh man, I'm yeah, so happy that my boy Rocket got to be like the heart and soul of this film. By all accounts, the box office opening for this movie should have been huge and the fact that it wasn't is kind of concerning also con concerning for Disney at least is the 4 million subscribers they apparently lost in Disney Plus and that includes the time period when Mandalorian was supposed to be on so they actually lost subs while their flagship show was premiering a new season if that doesn't say there's a brand damage going on, I don't know what does. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time.